Cool. Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you how to create a, um, basically, to get that credit app and modify it so you can get users to send mail. So I've created a, a project in that, uh, called it Send Mail. I'm just going to quickly add in a button. Just centering it. I'm just going to update the background color of this view. Just I'm not a big fan of the white. That's all. Just a personal preference. So I'm just going to center the button. Cool. Now the next step is uh, I'm just going to update the title. So I'm going to make it something a little bit more descriptive. So I'm going to call it Send Mail, so the users know what they're clicking on. Well, if you know what you're probably clicking on, it's going to do rather. And uh, the next thing now is we're just going to add in a basically a dummy action. This way DAP will create the action for us. It doesn't matter which action we choose and then that action method is what we're going to modify to send the mail. So good, great. So that's done now and we're just going to export that to code. Um, now once that's exported, I'm going to create a new empty application um, project in Xcode, which you'll see we're coming up right now. There we go. I'm just going to call that send mail. Right. Now, before I can drag across the um, files that DAP created for us, I just need to get rid of the app delegate and main.in files um, because DAP created its own version of those files. And it's just brain mixing the current image, and we're going to come back to it in a sec. It's just the files that Dap created for us. We'll just drag them in. Just make sure we create a copy of them. Cool, just try it and it looks like it's working. Okay, that's where we're going to be putting in our code to open up the our mail object. So I'm just going to get rid of that. But actually, before we do that, um, we just need to add in the, um, the message UI framework. Um, to add in framework, so you select a project and go to build phases and binary your libraries and um, add in the message UI framework. I'm just going to move that um, adjusted under the framework so it's Need to now just go back to the actually so that's the one, yep. So in our home view control um, control file, I'm just gonna uh, before we can do anything, we need to also um, import uh, the message UI header file, and here we're just gonna add in the mail compose view control delegate. Basically, what that is, that's the delegate that will let us um, respond to events that occur um, as the user sends mail. So, great, we can deliver that code now. And I've just copy pasted this code in here for now. Basically, that's a quick little um, excerpt of code that checks to make sure that the user's device can actually send mail. And that's actually really important because if we um, don't add this in, button, press the button, try to send mail, and the device can't send mail, then it could potentially crash. So important to have. You can see that um, I'm just calling a method called send mail. If that's false, then I'm creating an alert, an alert for the initial user saying um, the device can't send mail. And then I'm showing it and cleaning out uh, MA by releasing it and then um, the return is so I jump out of the method. Now this next bit, uh, assuming the user does have um, a device that can send mail, uh, this is where we actually create the mail object. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you uh, some of the options in here as well. Um, primarily be showing you how to uh, set a custom subject um, for the mail that the user sends. Now for that, um, you don't have to set anything, um, but it might be useful if you're 
just sat there putting it through the system to send you a help request and you have to write a specific thing about it. So that's the subject there. That's the subject, my subject. Um, now down here we can also um, set the two recipients on the um, mail. Now it's actually worth um, looking at the um, class reference file from Apple for this object because it's a whole bunch of other stuff you can play around with all the different settings you can set. Um, anyway, in here I'm just setting the um, two recipients. Oh, no, I shouldn't be using the commensurated object. I'm just going to change that. So it's got um, two email addresses. Just one second. Yeah, just change that. And I'm just going to add in the second email address. Just going to zoom in there. Basically, just passed in. A objects in it. Cool. And you can just check out the code if you want to um, have a look at that yourself. Well, check out the exporter code I provide. And now this is where we actually present um, our controller, which is essentially our, our mail object to the user. Cool. And that, that's basically it. That's all you need to do. Um, but what else we've added in, though, is we also need to respond to delicate events that occur uh, when the user uses the mail object. So I've just created, um, created a new method now. I'm just going to paste this in there. Just saves us a bit of time. As you can see, uh, those are the different, I guess, events that can occur. Um, the mail could be cancelled, saved, sent, or failed. And by doing this, you can respond to each event in this case, I've um, simply created a custom message to show to the user. Um, it shows uh, based on what's occurred. Cool. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you got something out of that, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh, uh, if you want any, um, if you'd like any tutorials uh, for me to do for you, just send us an email at cliffordcurefog.com, and I'll get that done for you. Awesome, guys. Have a good one.